This is a question that many people have stumbled upon out of random curiosity. How did the people know what time to set on the first clock? With minutes and second hands, how did they know when exactly to set it? Well, we will answer that question in detail today so without further ado, let's dive right into the science and history of how it was done and carried out. The first device used to measure time was the water clock back in the 5th century before Christ. Some amount of water was put in a vessel that was allowed to escape through a hole in the bottom. The time determined varied according to the size of the vessel and the hole made at the bottom. Well, nature itself provides us with many clocks, to begin with. When humanity was still a bit young we used to mark time by the rising and setting of the sun, and a month by the waxing and waning of the moon. But as we grew we built better and more precise ways of telling time, like a water drip clock, a pendulum clock, and finally quartz crystal oscillators and atomic clocks. All of these clocks have one thing in common they measure periodic events. For instance, how long it takes for a pendulum to swing back and forth, or the earth to move around the sun. And today, we are using the same idea to build something even more accurate, atomic clocks that uses the oscillations of a cesium atom. Anyways, there was no universal time in those times as there was no way of comparison between different time zones. After determining the length of day through where the sun is in the sky, and the months through its waxing and waning, humanity started off with the water clock and then developed itself for the candle clock. The very next step was defining a median point on which all longitudinal navigation would stand on. Eventually, the point was decided through an international agreement, and as the chronometer was a British invention, the spot chosen was the Royal Observatory, Greenwich, just outside of London. Accordingly, the whole time is also based on the zero meridian. Lastly, this was followed by another invention by a British man Thomas Munch, who invented one of the most crucial and innovative devices in time measurement, the lever escapement. This used a mechanism that allows the main spring to slowly run down to every passing second and minute. It was and is still being used in nearly all mechanical watches and even in some alarm clocks and kitchen timers. To conclude, it was a long process that started off by determining the position of the sun and the moon, and ultimately led to more precision in form of dividing the day into further parts. It all just started from people in the same area having the same type of clock measuring device, and the same parameter which followed the same steps. It initially varied by some time, but as the timekeeping devices became more uniform and the same, it formed a unison in the time of the area. This took due place after the invention of the first clock in the 14th century in Europe. So, it was a gradual process that led humanity to make more and more precise clocks out of necessity. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for more amazing stories.